Hi, I'm Kath, the Cornea Sewing Girl. Welcome back. I'm sat down here by me tree. There's me tree. And I got me glass of wine. I'm going to try and put you somewhere steady so I can explain what I've been up to and why I haven't made my top. I don't know why I got it into my head that I would like new carpets before Christmas, would you believe it or not? And I thought well, maybe I could get away without decorating and just have these new carpets and it won't be too big of an issue. Well, it was. I decided to paint the whole house. And my husband works and he works a lot of hours, so he couldn't really help me. I was left on my own with it. And the more I pulled furniture out to try and um, dust in behind, the more I thought it's the whole room got to be done. I painted the bedroom. I painted all the way down the stairs. The sewing machine room, I always say sewing machine room, the sewing room was fine. Uh, they, that wasn't too bad, so I left that as it was. My spare room was okay, so I left that as it, as it was. i just done the skirting boards and freshened the windowsill up with some gloss. And then I painted the lounge and I painted the hallway. <laughs> All the stair banisters. <laughs> Boy, one I tired. Uh, it was a little bit stressful right before Christmas because they were swapping the days that the carpet was going to come on and and telling me I've just got to be patient and wait and it won't be here till the 20th of December. And then on the 15th, they said, yeah, we got it and we got a space. Uh, so do you want it done on the 15th? And I, um, I really weren't ready. I had run myself ragged trying to paint the place. So uh, in the end, I think, well, I'll just have to be careful and touch in little bits. But I I stayed up till two in the morning at one time painting. But it's OK now. I've got my glass of martini. I've got my tree up. I'm going to show you a little clip now. Hang on, if I put that. If I wave my finger in the air and stop the video, I can then show you me putting me tree up. So stop the video a moment and I'll pop that little clip in. Well, it's 25 to one and I am absolutely shattered. Just take you over, show you the tree. Whoops, if I know the camera still. I've got stuff everywhere. Because I've painted the whole house. Nearly every room this week. The banisters. Up and down the stairs. I've oh, painted the landing. I've done everything. So, And I've had carpet fitters in. So uh, I've been run ragged this week. So I've just put my tree up. And... Uh, these are my little, my little balls. There we go. You collect them over the years. But I've got mostly on me tree here. I like to see a green and white. You know, and I've got lots of these little tiny cones. I love them. You haven't got to worry about them falling apart so much you know so I had to look around for some nice sturdy decorations and this one's my little favorite one this one is it's got a little angel in there there we go Should get another little angel to go on there because of my auntie that passed and one for the next one as well that passed there we go well i won't bore you with it anymore but i've just spotted one i really like i quite like that one oh i think i showed you that one 
Right, there we go, and look at the mess. Nearly one o'clock in the morning. I've had the telly on, that's all. <laughs> well, I was watching YouTube with some Christmas songs, but that's all conked out now. And I better put all this rubbish away, hadn't I? So I'll speak soon. Yeah, I was up to really early hours of the morning doing the tree. Um, I had new flooring in the kitchen. I will do a little tour and show you, but right, <laughs> right now I, I am so tired. I shall do it in a minute. I'll get up and I'll I'll pan about. Um, in fact, I'll I'll pan about the, the, this room a moment and show you. There you go. Do a quick pan around. That's me new carpets. And there it's me tree. I'm sat here with me chocolates and me glass of wine. So as you see, I've been a busy bee this week and I haven't made my top. Forgive me for that. Um, I do feel a bit bad because when you've got, whoops, I'm try <laughs> trying to bring myself into the center of the video. When you've got a channel, you do really do want to um to be on it, and you do want to you love I love sewing sewing is a big really big part of my life. you know if me and my husband go away or if I go into my local town um I find I get very frustrated trying on clothes because I find um I'm always disappointed when I try them on and they're not fitting quite right. So and I and they're not cheap clothes to buy. If you go to the right places, you always gotta gotta pay. So a lovely bit of material is everything, you know, and, and you don't always have to have a complicated pattern. There's many a nice patterns out there where you can make a dress lovely and quick. But last week, in amongst all my rush to get all the painting done. I have befriended a lovely sewing lady. Oh, we had coffee in Penventon, my local hotel. Oh, a good six, seven months ago. Must, might have even been more than that. Um, we had a lovely afternoon. We had lunch in there together. And life just goes on. You, 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 you text one another, but we didn't meet up for a while. And I didn't want to lose her friendship, so I touched her and I, I thought, well, I, I'm painting, but I won't be long doing it. We really must meet up. And she texted me a, a text back and said, how about the garden centre that I generally go down? Trevenson Garden Centre. She said, shall we meet there at past two on a Friday afternoon? And I thought, oh, how lovely. So I really sort of um, cracked on a bit more with my painting and I managed to, to get there. And um, I shall just show you a little clip of her. She's a little bit younger than me, but she is so sweet. Oh, I absolutely adore her. She is, um, she's just lovely and she's she's got an absolute lovely job. She works in the college. No, um, I think in the Tremo College down at Penryn. But um yeah, she's she's I think it's a college, it might even be a university. I'm stumbling as I'm saying that, making sure I'm telling you right. But I'm gonna pop a little clip in now because she was absolutely lovely to meet. And we did have a lovely afternoon down the garden centre. So uh she took a picture and she said it's fine for me to put it on. So I'll I'll just put it on right now. She was absolutely lovely. So apart from that, um, I came back, rushing back and still, you know, rushing about and trying to get the house right. But I still had another meal out with my lovely friend Kentima. Uh, we've been to the Alverton Hotel 
And we've also been to another place called Trigana Castle. So I shall, um, I'll pop Trigana Castle in now, shall I? Because it's nice to incorporate a little bit of Cornwall. And um, just if you ever come to Cornwall, you've seen or got a little bit of the heads up of what there is in the hotel side of things. So I'll just pop that in a minute. Here we are. This is Trigana Castle. Should have stood back. There, that might be a bit better. This is Trigana Castle in St Ives in Cornwall. And we're down here for lunch with our friends, Tony and Kintima. Looking a bit bleak there today, isn't it? Anyway, let's go on in. This is Trigana Castle. This is the entrance in. And, oh, what a lovely tree. Oh. Say no sign. Um, no yeah, parking. Yeah. I hope you like seeing them. I absolutely adore going out to lunch, although I know it does cost and it's cheaper to eat at home. But sometimes I was going to say I don't drink and smoke. <laughs> and I got my glass of wine. Well, I don't smoke anyway, you know, so it's nice to, to sort of have your little treats. And I don't spend too much on clothes. I make them. So I have my little treats out. Tomorrow, it's um quite late now. It's um Wednesday night. Um, I think it's the nineteenth today. I'm off to Waitrose get the groceries tomorrow. I'll have to put the alarm on early tomorrow so I get up because I like to get out, get it done. I uh, went over to oh I went over to Tesco's yesterday and it was quite funny. Um, I wanted some roasting dishes and I wanted um, a doormat. You know, I've got me flooring done in my kitchen and everything. So I wanted a, a doormat for there and some little bits and bobs, you know. So I thought, well, there's, I don't mind BM. I find BM is all right. You know, you can get a doormat and bits and bobs in there. And then I went up to Tesco's and when I went in there, I'm thinking, my God, the the doormat was so much cheaper in BM. I think I'll go back BM. <laughs> so I was walking between the two because uh, near me, BM and Tesco's are right side by side um, over Red Roof. So uh, then I come out of there and thinking, oh, I forgot my roasting dishes. I better nip back into Tesco's. And when I went back in, it was deafening sound. This like fire alarm was going off and everyone was told to leave the store and everyone was outside and you wouldn't imagine how many people there was in Tesco's because it looked crowded outside. So everyone, some, I think they all abandoned their trolleys in the aisles and was told to leave. So um, I didn't go back in then. I came home. So tomorrow I'm off to Waitrose. Um, I'm gonna. I bought me turkeys already. I bought them turkey crowns in Marks's. So I've got them. Um, and what else do I need? Oh, I bought two pieces of pork up at Waitrose. Uh, because I know my friend Cantima likes pork. I love me turkey. Oh, I love turkeys. I like the Oakland ones. In Is it Oakland? I think it is. In Marks's, love them. I bought one last year. But I haven't got the sage and onion stuffing with this one. I just bought a little crown. And I haven't got the sage. And, yeah, it's a shame. I liked all that type of thing. So tomorrow, I'm going up there. Um, It's just knowing what's going to keep. Because sometimes if you buy fresh products... 
the dates don't last that long. I mean, in Mark says I'm really struggling, like, with the dates. So, um, I'm going to have to be careful what I buy. I just want some little things you could put out on the table. Uh, I don't like too much from the freezer, but it's handy to have a little bit there, isn't it? When you really want, you know, a little bit more stuff to put out, you know, because, like you say, fresh stuff don't always last. Anyway, um... I'm going to uh, put a few little clips in of my kitchen floor in and that. And I uh, haven't got my hallway done yet. I've got to wait till after Christmas for that. Uh, but the, the stairs, the landing and everything is all done. So I shall just put in a little clip a moment of me, of me flooring and me stairs. There we go, that's me floor. And this is me tiny little bit of landing on the top of the stairs. I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's sleeping because it's quite late. <laughs> this wallpaper I put up because it was only like three and a half pieces to go along there. And this here, believe it or not, was an old one of the old cheap brown um you know, mirrors, and I put some polyfluor on, as you can see, and then I painted it in two-tone beige and cream, just to give a little texture, just to give a little rough texture on that. And if I stand back over here, sorry, got me jammies on here. There we go. You can see that. And that's my bedroom carpet there. There we go, and all the way down my stairs and all my banisters. I uh, got new curtains to go on the landing here. I haven't put them up yet. And that's my old flooring down the bottom. Right, my lovelies, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Um, I do love reading my comments, so uh, you're more than welcome to leave one. And anyone who wish to subscribe it does help me out a lot and you get notifications then of when a new video is up i hope i don't bore you too much and um i'm going to say goodbye for now so i can do another one very soon before christmas i should put another one up anyway love to you all and thank you so much for watching